We've done a lot of research around the world, and what absolutely fascinates me is that because really the water cooler industry originated in America, and that's about 50, 55 years ago, and was then later copied by other countries. You know, Australia really only started copying the bottled water cooler industry about 20 years ago. But because everyone copied America um, in, in the beginning, we all operate with a very similar system. The spring water boys, they rent you the water cooler, then they sell you the water. In Australia, they rent you the water cooler for 150 a year, then they sell you the bottles for $12 each. In America, they tend to rent you the water cooler for 150 US dollars a year and sell you the bottle of water for $10 uh, each. Right. It's the same in England, and it's the same everywhere you go. Everyone's copied the system. So we know that our method um, and, and uh, pricing structure and so on is equally competitive almost anywhere in the world that we choose to go. Here at Global Franchise Sales, we have had inquiries for exclusive rights, not necessarily for franchises, and we're not really talking a franchise in your case, but we've had inquiries for exclusive rights from various parts of the world quite constantly, and they're on the increase. For instance, Dubai, Singapore, Canada, to name a few. Yes. Now, can you explain how it would work for a person in any one of those areas or generalise how it would work internationally because sure. it's certainly the time and place for sure. your product to be moving out yeah. of Australia. Yeah, well I, I guess from the point of view of, of an interested party in any of those countries, the conversation that we can have with them is, would you like to be the exclusive distributor for the whole of the country? And the reason I say that the conversation is because it's entirely possible that in America, for example, somebody might say, I'm interested in a state. Yes. But I don't think it matters which it is, whether it's a state, a country, a province, whatever. Um, the first thing we do is have a conversation about how do we reach an agreement using, our, the, I guess, for, a, for a, a model, the license agreement we've used in Australia. We believe in giving a party or parties exclusive rights to our product so that they can then get on with the job of sub-licensing it, distributing it, distributing it, sorry, yeah. or finding resellers or, you know, if they want to go to the trouble, they can go to the trouble of franchising. They could do America state by state, for example. But the first conversation really is, who are we sending it to in that country? And we've got a, yeah. a distributor in North Queensland, uh, a lady, and her territory is, covers 400 miles of coast. Correct. Yeah, we would not, <laughs> not, would not Normally you wouldn't do that, you know, yeah. you'd have them all nearby, you know, you'd be in Sydney or Melbourne or Vancouver or New York or wherever and you'd have your service person probably on a bicycle because yeah. you literally can service these on a bicycle, you do not have to have a truck. And, and the good thing too that I've learned from you today is that uh, you have contacts globally and not all of the components have to be shipped in. And what you do is that, free on board in any event. So yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, liking that. Yeah. Well, well our, you know, our, our, the, 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 parts, the parts which we actually make ourselves, which are basically all of the parts involved in the patent, um, are, you know, create what we call the icon converter system, the whole system, which goes into a, a, a fairly conventional office water cooler. I mean, this is one here. I mean, this is one that's uh, made in Australia. Um, although it is made with certain variations to it to suit our equipment so that it will go inside. Yeah. But we can adapt our invention to almost any water cooler in the world. Yeah. And folks, I can vouch for the fact that Roger has a, a unique way of getting the business into businesses and clients. And, and look, we're not just talking businesses, are we? We're talking public places. Oh, you know, they're, 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 they're very over. popular in homes, but, yeah. and particularly where there are children. Uh, the children absolutely love them and all the mothers that have had uh, one of our water coolers in their homes tell me they can't believe it. The children just don't go to the fridge anymore and they're not asking for soft drinks and Coca-Cola. And that might seem very hard to believe, but children love these. Yeah, Let's get up, get a drink of water, go and do what they're doing. Yeah, so yes, there's a big, big market. In, well, I mean, basically you can't rent them to places where there are no human beings. Yeah. As long as there's a human being there, you've got a potential customer, and that's, so, well, that's yeah, how we that, see it. That opens so. up a big market. Yeah, it's a huge market.
if we missed anything that you'd like to recap or talk about before we conclude? Max, I can talk all afternoon. I'm in love with this. <laughs> I mean, you're a very passionate guy. For someone who's been in the game for uh, in excess of 20 years, Roger knows everything about the features, advantages and benefits of water. 